So this week, we're going to do it a little different. I'm going to do this video in the car. Well, I'm not actually driving right now. I'm parked, so I'm safe. So we just came back from the PEP meeting, the Panel for Education Policy meeting, where they went over uh, 109. They actually didn't go vote over 109. The community made a major victory, and the uh, Department of Education is going to uh, do further review to see whether or not they're going to uh, whether or not they're going to co-locate the school. Check this out. On Wednesday, May 18th, the Panel for Education Policy met at the Long Island City High School. They were originally going to discuss whether or not to co-locate a high school in Middle School 109 in Queens Village. They decided to postpone that decision upon further review and to discuss it with the community further. Janice Berry, the PTA president for IS 109, was there in support of the school. Well, we're going to let them know that we're not going to sit back and let this happen. Our school is in desperate need of repairs and resources, and we're not going to just sit back and Great. let this take place. Carol Jenkins, SLT member at 109, was also there in support of the school. Um, but I want them to still know that we are against it. We don't want um, a charter school high school inside a middle school where we also have elementary school attending the Beacon program. State Senator Leroy Comrie testified in support of the school. Moving forward on the co-location for 109, we're agreeing to uh, sit and talk with the community about the future of 109 and how that can be uh, a better school for the entire community and how we can work with ensuring that the educational needs of District 29 and the Queens Village area, especially where 109 is situated, uh, will be taken uh, under account and have an open discussion between um, the community and the Department of Education. City Council Member Barry Gridenchik testified in support of the school. But they don't have the physical uh, ability, uh, the plant is not where it should be. And I believe personally, personally, as I've said to the Chancellor and to others here, I am philosophically opposed to co-locations. That's been my stance for a long time. But I think that, that this is really the wrong place. We have a dynamic educator in Ms. Comrie. We have outstanding educators. And we have a community that is four score behind this school. And it continues to rise. And I'm sure that it's going to be a great intermediate school. Um, so I would ask the PEP, even though you're not going to vote on this tonight, um, to not bring this back next month. We are going